Hello there! Welcome to Friday Night Live, you guys. I'm trying to see if I can see my comments on something different other than my phone, so I'm trying to see what you guys see while you're waiting to see the live pop up. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Oh! I saw a pop in. Or is that myself popping in? Hello, you guys! Happy Friday Night Live! How's everyone doing? Let me know where you guys are from, what you guys are having tonight. I'm having a little rosé. Trying to see how people even see a Facebook Live here. So let me know where you guys are from. Hello, hello. Um, why does everything look like that? All right, let's check. There we go. All right. And I'm trying to figure out, how do you guys catch me on live? I was trying to be able to see my comments on here. How do you guys do that? Hello, we've got Marilyn, we've got Scottsdale, uh, San sangria and tea in virginia hey heather you like those earrings we had some of those kids hey janice how's it going hey doris hey paula hey amy hey barbara julie Oop. getting all my hellos you guys and i'm trying to figure out how you guys see me live so that maybe i can watch the comments as they're coming a little bit easier on something uh big but glad you could make it barb Oh, good. Bringing some extra wine. Thanks, Janice. Hello, Miss Patty from California. Okay. I thought I should just be able to go to my page. <laughs> and but maybe I can't do that when I'm signed in. How does that work? I have to be signed. All right, well, maybe I'm just going to have to forget it. <laughs> but I had it all up. I thought it was working. It, oh, there's, okay, let, I'll post. Let's check it out. Maybe this will work. All these, all these secret buttons, right? Is everyone still trying to figure out how to use Facebook? At least you guys have found me here. Hey, Anne. Hey, Elaine. Hey, Mary. Hi, Inga. Hey, Kimberly. I was getting your question, so we'll get back to that, okay? I didn't actually read it all the way through, but I did see it uh, bling up, okay? Okay, so if you got if you open the live on iPad and expand the screen, I see the comments. Yeah, and then you can get rid of the comments too, I think. So I'm trying to see how to see the live. So maybe I can see your comments. Um, so I don't have to be trying to squint at my phone and I can see what you guys can see. Hey Donna, glad you've been able to hang out with us. Are we excited to see some bubble beads? Like my earrings and things we've been making. Let me get my wine open. Like I said, ooh, oh, there it is, look. Live, you guys. Excited to see some bubble beads. Like my earrings and- Do you guys hear myself talking? All right, so where are my comments? Well, look at that, I think I gotta go. All right, awesome, you guys. All right, so I thought maybe we can do some of that awesome bookkeeping, which is kind of some of the fun part. You guys have been posting and busy all week. <laughs> Unfortunately, Jonah can't read yet. We're, we're working on that, that's part of our homeschooling we do, we, but you know, hard when we're working full time with you guys and then came home able to get some food on the table, feed the cat, um, set up a little bit more, uh, touch up, you know, the face a little bit so that I can hop on and uh, unwind a little bit. Okay. So let's see. We are ready to get started. We're going to start with our giveaway. So if you guys uh, remember, we were playing with gemstones last week. 
we still have a few left, so, you know. But we had these pair of earrings. They were sterling silver with amethyst and garnet in them, you can see here. And so the way the Wendy's was watching, like tonight, Friday Night Live, and commenting and saying hello, where are you from, okay? It is a long day for me. But, you know what, it's kind of, it's fun. I mean, the worst thing is I'm like hanging out showing beads, right? And, and jewelry and giving away stuff and making people's night. And I've been hearing some funny stories <laughs> of some late nights of you guys hanging out and even falling asleep to me here. <laughs> Because we trying to stay up, you want to see the next thing. And I've got a, a few surprises here for you guys tonight too. You know, just uh, some new things that popped in and want to show them off. All right, so pair of earrings. The way that we choose these is I go through the feed. And um, so Jonah can't read, but he is my helper. So he went through the feed and what he does is he, he scrolls through uh the video and then we stop it and then we check to see who is commenting right at that time and and then he chooses a name and we did that twice okay so you want to know who he chose tonight you guys he chose four amethyst earrings you guys here amethyst earrings we want to say congratulations to patty graham <laughs> uh patty he chose you and then for the garnet pair of these, he chose Heather Wong. <laughs> Yay! So, congratulations to you two winners for being with us for Friday Night Live. And I'm guessing you're out there tonight for Friday Night Live. Hey, Deborah. All right, so congratulations to those two winners. And then we've got two other winners. So we have some wire working, some things that were made on Bead With Me. So if you aren't watching, we go live every day, Monday through Friday at two o'clock. And we hang out, we play, we show you some new beads and play with stuff like this. So we were showing off how to wire up, oh, I think that's backwards, um, <laughs> how to wire wrap you know, and decorate things that are kind of big and, you know, maybe you want to hang them more like a pendant. Okay. So that was one of the bead with me. So I'm going to be giving this one away and the way we chose this one. So if you were, um, watching the stars beads page, uh, people who have been creating and getting inspired, uh, have been posting those creations to share them with you guys. So that was the way to win and Mr. Jonah again helped me go through that feed so we went through all the photos that you guys sent over onto our page and we checked everything out and Jonah chose two winners okay so for this pendant he chose Michelle Reed from Barbados I believe right Michelle congratulations okay and then the big winner Okay, because this was a very, very popular design. So this was showing again, uh, what a little bit of the wire wrap pendant and then um, a little bit more wire wrapping and showing off chain, okay? So you guys, I love chain. So we were using chain, using wire working last week and hey, Kathy, good to see you. And we have our chakra necklace winner. He chose Maggie. Maggie, you know why he chose yours? He loves those big stars class Swarovski crystals. So those 27 millimeters, he just, that was like his first choice. <laughs> he says, oh, that one. And then Michelle, he loved those um, blue earrings that you had made. So, and green's his favorite color. So, so congratulations to all you guys winners. So thank you guys for posting. So if you guys heard how that happens, that pretty much happens every week. So make sure you're commenting. So even if you watch this tonight, whether you watch it tomorrow, um, make sure you're commenting and saying hello, okay? And saying you like stuff and seeing, you know, I wanna know what your interests are, okay? So tonight, obviously we've been playing with bubble beads. So let me, get ourselves prepared. Let me move these things out of the way. And I think the first thing I was going to start with, because uh, not everybody is um, 
always able to, you know, keep up with uh, things going on. So I'm going to have the shocker kits, and that's going to be the first item shown here tonight. So I'm going to change our view and take a little sip. And let's get comfortable because we're going to probably be here a while. You know how that goes. All right, you see me? Dun, 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 dun. So these were the shocker kits if you um, are jealous of Maggie and her getting this uh, beautiful necklace. Okay, you can get yours right now. So I have a, uh, a few kits available, not a whole ton, so, but I will try to fulfill what I can. Um, so we have these uh, shocker kits. It's going to be item uh, one. I guess we could just do one on that. <laughs> I don't need to do any letters. All right, and then we will get to some colors here of Boros. If you have been watching, you have an idea of kind of what we've been doing with Boro beads. So for those that are not familiar, we'll just kind of give a quick rundown. I'm going to show off a few things that you can make with Boro beads so you kind of get an idea of what um, what we're looking at, okay? So if you're not familiar with Boros and you haven't been able to catch up with anything that we've been doing this week, these are a few necklaces that are made with them. So borosilicate glass is a very, very tough and durable glass. It's all handmade here in the USA by a company called Unicorn Beads. Uh, they do some of the most fantastic uh, glass work I know. Um, they are very versatile and can even have, have um, asked for some custom stuff from Doug. So you can see these are the teardrop shapes. So that's what we're highlighting here tonight because there are so many gorgeous colors and you can use them in uh, so many ways. So here's a necklace. You can see it right here in the front. We put some little teardrops, okay, on that. And then... Um, we also created this design here this week together. So using that as a focal and you can see them bunched up here and then also tucked into a really, really fun chain. And then we also made a matching pair of earrings. Super fun. Okay, so those are a few of the things that we made this week. Um, we also made this really fun necklace as well. So you guys know that I was wearing these as my earrings here tonight. But this was design showing off some really fun chain. We had sold out of it this week, but if we have some requests on this texture chain, you can uh, let me know. And... We'll be working on getting uh, some more in, okay? But this is a beautiful Druzy necklace. This is uh, going for $60 uh, tonight. So, you know. Um, and I guess I forgot to go over for those that are new to shopping because <laughs> I'm thinking that most of you guys are familiar. So, if you guys want to claim anything, you're going to just listen to what the... Um, you know, claim code is. But pretty much you're going to either write the number and the letter we may show a little bit of both okay and i will try to let you know if there is um more than one most everything we're we're gonna have more than one of everything tonight so we shouldn't worry <laughs> on some nights we haven't always had the luxury of that okay so in order to claim it if you guys are new please message me your email um and then we can get you invoiced okay so quick and easy and all the information is in the details okay yeah, isn't this gorgeous? Okay, so this is, uh, this will be item number two because I put this uh, up this afternoon. Um, I may break this up, but I wanted to give people a chance to be able to get the whole necklace. It goes right over your head, has a beautiful board, drops in that druzy pendant with the electroplated and silver. Okay, running $60, ready made, all done. And this one and these we're gonna be saving. Or something else all right so that's number two and then uh, one of the other designs um, 
that was popular here is uh, this one. Okay, so this is uh, showing off the Rolo chain and the Boro beads here. Weaved with leather, very simple design, but very popular. You can see that you can put a beautiful clasp on there. So for those of you that had some really nice uh, class from the Friday Night Live a couple weeks ago, then you can put that on here. Okay, but otherwise we will be having all the parts and pieces here tonight so that you guys can uh, create this and then you can watch the video tutorial on how to create it. Okay, so um, I will have all of these parts here, here tonight. That was our little bit of a surprise. Okay, so this is using the regular size bead. So these Boro beads are gonna come in three sizes. So for those of you that are new, wanna just kinda show you what we're looking at. Um, we're gonna have three sizes tonight. So these were some earrings in the jumbo size. Okay, and that was in my bracelet here uh, that I was showing off here today. So I have a big one on a triple wrap bracelet okay so these are the jumbo size then there's the original you know I guess regular teardrop size okay that's where we're gonna have the most of those and and then we have the minis okay so we've done this design in two different size chains okay and we'll have those available in several different colors as well as some other just fun chain tonight Okay, so those are the three sizes though that so that you can see them right now <laughs> before we get in a little further. So when I say minis or the regulars or the jumbos, you have an idea of what size we're talking about. So when we measured these, these are running technically like a 10 by 10 uh, or 10 by 10, but a, a 10 millimeter we kind of were measuring from all, all sides, but um, it doesn't feel as big as a 10 millimeter, but that's just to give you an idea. Okay. All right, let's get started with some colors. So um, on these ones, I'm gonna introduce the color. They don't really have names, but. They're not in any particular order because I thought it was kind of hard to decide, so I've just have these uh, laid out, dropping things. So this is one style color. This is a gorgeous uh, red with some candy cane striping. I think they're a little bit more creamish, not. We can see in the jumbo size how that looks. Okay, so the pricing for the three sizes, the you're gonna get 25 beads on the minis and they run $12. Okay, so all purchases here for Friday Night Live uh, this week is going to be 10% off on everything, 20% off of anything over $100, and uh, free shipping on anything over $100 as well. Okay, so minis are $12. Okay, the regulars also have 25 beads, and they are uh, $15. Okay, so the bracelet that we made, it took about 19, 20 of them, okay? And then the jumbos, they are also 15, and they have uh, five, five of them on there, okay? So those are going to be the three sizes. Um, because these ones have three, I'm going to kind of do this, and then I'll show you the colors a little bit closer. So if anybody wants this, this is going to be three, and we're going to do A, B, and C, okay, for this particular color set in that red, okay? All right, get a sip of wine here, and get ready to do some colors with you guys tonight. Now, um, probably what I'm putting out, this is what I have, okay? So I have about two to three strands of every color. Okay, 
Okay, so this is going to be four. And this is going to be an awesome orange. Look at that. Now you can tell there's a little bit of shading variation. So this is a little brighter orange, a little deeper. Okay, so it's kind of like color lots, but still beautiful nonetheless. Okay, so we've got some minis in those. Okay, so this is going to be four, and then A for minis, B for the regulars, and C for the jumbos for this nice orange color shade. And it looks like on these strands that I'm looking a little bit closer is, you know, I think it's just the inside is a little bit um, lighter, and then the outsides are that deeper orange. So those are pretty. All right, so we've got four, can we see all that? Four, A, B, and C. I think I'm gonna get a lot of exercise going back and forth to reach these. All right, so we're at five. This is a gorgeous green. I really like this color. I don't think, this was the color that we had used in our rainbow set here. That's a really, really yummy green. So this is going to be five, number five. And then A for mini, B for regular, and C for the jumbos. Okay, and then also make sure you let me know how many strands you want if you're going to want more than one strand. Because obviously I only have a few. Okay, so these sweet little minis, I was going to... Uh, do a smaller set of earrings. So if you don't like such big ones, you can do a rainbow uh, set of these. You can see, I mean, yeah, I think that was the color we had used in here. Okay, this is Color number six, all you blue lovers. This is a little a little similar to the color of my necklace. Okay, this is color six. And we do not have any minis in this one. So this is gonna be, we'll just keep it easy. So 6B, and then look at this. All right, so 6C. That's a great blue or combination of blues. All right, now this is a fun one. This is a nice blue green combination. Color number seven. guys my stand got tired <laughs> okay so this is that pretty blue and this one it looks like we have some minis some regulars this is color number seven so again 25 beads on each one so they can go pretty far um, 25 on the regulars, 25 on the minis, and then five on the jumbos. Okay. You know, each one is a, has its own, you know, that one has a bit more blue and can be a little smidgen tinier. All right, so that was number seven. This is a pretty one here. 
Look at that nice cobalt blue with a nice uh, silvery shine. So this is color number eight. We've got the minis. We've got the regulars. And the jumbos. There's so many gorgeous ones. Look, this one has kind of a rainbow shine. So this really catches the light and then has uh, that cobalt blue center. So I don't know, you can see that. But it's nice to see the jumbo so you can see that the color uh, can come in a variety of ways. So that last uh, blue green one was opaque. Okay, so very solid versus this one. You can see that there's the clear glass all in the side looks bigger from here but you can see that the coloring is right here and then and then the way that it's shaped really just brings out the color okay so a a b and c okay this is Nice for those that want an everyday color. Wait, am I on eight? No, I'm on nine. Okay, so this is a black with a cream yellow. So nine, uh, let's see, I have nine A, B, and C, all three sizes. Look at the jumbos. Okay, these are gonna be some of the colors that we used in the chakra set. So color number 10 is gonna be that vibrant, vibrant red, but it's gonna be clear, so not opaque like the very first one. Yeah, it totally is kind of an art deco, kind of like a, splattered paint. <laughs> so here's that cool red. So this is 10 A, B, and C. So we've got minis, regulars, and the jumbos in this nice red. So remember if you guys are those Kumi fans, these are the good ones to watch to see if they have all three sizes, or at least two of the sizes. For, it's great for tapering. Here's that fabulous orange, orange shade. Let you look at that while I throw these back here. There's one more of that strand. Okay, so this is sunshine yellow. It's kind of a little, has a tinge of orange, so I know it might show up uh, as maybe a very, very bright yellow, which it still is. Let's see if we can, where's that necklace here? See, I guess it really shows up fairly yellow, but, <laughs> but it's a beautiful color. You know, I don't normally go for this tone, but I used it in the chakra set because I thought it was just the perfect glowing color. So that we've got quite a few of the minis on that one. So we've got A, B, and C for number 11. Very, very yummy. All right, and Paula Montgomery, if you're out there, here's, here's your color in all the sizes. So we've got color 12 in this beautiful teal green so there's only one in that medium color but let's check that out it's a gorgeous teal 
green. That was one of the colors we used. The next one is a lighter version, so these ones will blend really nicely. You can see those side by straight side here. So this was color 12. And then this is color 13. So let's look at this one a little bit closer. So it's a, a soft, lighter teal green. So this is 13, A, B, and C. I really like that color. Then again, I'll, I kind of like all of these colors. I mean, this is a great blue. I don't normally, I guess, I always go for teal, you know? But this is a great blue, too. This is your everyday blue. This one was one of the colors I was deciding upon <laughs> in the chakra set. Go with your everyday wear, your denims. We've got one that's going to be a little bit more sapphire color coming up, but look at that. Let's see. Can we see that color a little closer? That's a really yummy one. Let that close. That light is shining through them quite nicely on here. Okay, so that's a... Uh, Color 14. And then look at this blue though. Now this is pretty close to my sapphire blue ring here, you guys. So color number 15 is pretty royal. Look at that. Color number 15. In all three sizes. I like that. Let's see. 15. What's that? Beautiful sapphire blue. Now we're going to that nice, deep, amazing purple. You can see, I think some of those strands already got sold in the purple. <laughs> but look at that. Okay, Barb, that was 15 A and B, I got it. Don't worry, I'll, I'll go back on the feet. All right, 16 is that fantastic purple so we've got that in the minis the regulars now I know it kind of looks like dark edging but you know when these pop up especially when you do the the one design there you know the color really ends up popping straight up so you know even though you're gonna see them this is darker just on the edges so this is actually that really lighter purple that you see So that's 16. Thanks, you, you guys can have those clasps. You can check the STARS class feed if you need any fancy style clasps. Okay, or check our online site so you can finish off your crisscross. Uh, okay. Or I'm sorry, your leather and chain wrap um weave one all right here's these pretty and pinks nice soft one 
Okay, so this is going to be the last round of ones where we're going to get all the, all three sizes, okay? Then we're going to get into uh, more fun colors in, in just this size, the mi middle size. Okay, so we'll see these a little bit closer. So remember when you're working with these, if you, um, let's see, spread these out a little bit. They are a little bit bubble gummy. Okay, the further you spread them out, they're gonna hang in one direction. Okay, so like in my bracelet, for example, that we made today, you know, they're gonna be all hanging kind of in one direction. Okay, versus when you bunch them up, and you can see a lot of times we would use it in little sets of three or little sets of five. Okay, so you get that full look, just like we did here. Gives you that full tassel look. All right, so that's 17 A, B, and C. Okay, now let's see how we should do these ones. Throwing things around here. All right, so now I'm going to just do 18, and then we're going to start doing some letters. Hey, Martina. Glad you could make it. We still got plenty to go through. Now we're going through uh, all the all the other colors here. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna start off with 18A is gonna be this gorgeous red, but this one has a lot of gold flecks. I don't know if you can see that in there, but this has a lot of gold flex. This is gonna be 18A. And then, let's see. We can see the little flex in there. Kinda like gold stone. So perfect for the holidays. Maybe a little drop off that, uh, what's that peyote star that you're making, Amy? So 18B, oh, these ones do have some minis, okay, maybe I'll do those here in a little bit, yeah, okay, um, okay, I'm going to do this awesome white, since we're getting into summer, it's feeling all hot, we can cool ourselves down and add a little bit of white. So this is 18B. I really like that. You can see how nice that goes when you add just a pop of white. You know, sometimes we forget using white or black, you know, but sometimes it can cool the rest of your colors down when you have, obviously you can see I was busy trying to stack up as many colors as I could here today. I kept adding them. Okay, so here's the white 18B. That's pretty. All right, 18C. Look at this one. This is a great multicolor. Let me see if I can keep these in order for myself. There's A. Look at this color, you guys. This has a nice multitude of garden colors, so you're looking at a nice uh, touch of kind of an opalescent, almost bluish color shade. There are some yellows in there, purples, pinks. So a lot of different colors in this. Shows a little bright, but maybe if we do it a little bit further away, you can really see the color. So this is 8C. So this one here, let's take a quick look. We can see how it can be hard to decide on 
the chain colors. So for example, I wanna just show you 18C when we are looking at those bracelets. Okay, so we can see how gold tone can really bring it out. Okay, along with, let's see, especially if you put in, I don't know, when you do the leather color, you can bring in one of the other color tones, okay? But then you could also go a little bit stronger, so maybe you're not all into, you know, light and all of that, you can go a little bit darker you can kind of see how then that color shows up, right? Okay, so this is just, I'm trying to help you maybe pick out some of the colors of chain as we go and um, go for, let's see. Then you can go for a little bit of rugged with a little bit of, you know, girl, right? So, so 18C this is a great one. You can kind of see the different color tones that can look nice with that. All right, 18D. It's going to be this gorgeous teal color. 18D. And this here goes really nicely with the uh, bright silvers. Let's see how that would end up looking. This is 8D. Really like that, of course. But let's we'll see. I want to try it maybe with this new uh, black chain. Just to be different, right? I'm excited for this. I've never carried uh, the black black, but I've had requests for it. So I was looking for something a little bit more manly, you know, for, for something not quite as shiny as gunmetal. Okay, so I've gotten the components all to match, so some jump rings and lobsters too to go with this particular chain, you guys. Okay, so this is this is a cool, cool color combo too. Okay, so 18D. Oh, so this is kind of close to 18D, but look at this. Has that same shade, but look at all the multicolors. And you can see the touch of copper on this one. Okay, so 18E. Uh, Julie, uh, the, okay, so this Rolo chain, these are gonna be, they're, it's 550 a foot. But we're going to be getting to the chain. I'm just kind of showing so uh, it along with it so you guys can kind of be thinking as you're bidding. Maybe, oh, you know, once you see the combinations, it really can strike you. So 18E, there's only two strands of these. So I'm really loving that black chain too. It's very different. So this one can obviously go with the copper tones because you can see those beautiful copper flecks in there. So this one gets really accentuated with this copper chain. Now, if you're doing the minis, um, I will have some of the other chain so that you can use that for the bracelet as well. All right, so that was 18 E. Uh, e. We're on 18 F. Look at this. This is a nice translucent red. Now this I thought would go really good with that black actually. Let's show that off a little bit. Look how that combo. And then you can use black leather on that. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to check on that 
see you guys. It looks like a lot of votes and maybe we'll see if we can get an extra order on them, okay? But look at that cool red and black combination. Very cool. But we also will have a nice um, rhodium color. And you can see how that looks against a, a silver tone. So 18F. All right, we got a pretty pink one, and I like this one. There weren't very many where we had a, a mix, but this is 18G. Yeah, we'll show all the different colors of leather coming up too tonight. All right, so this is the fun pink, and this you can see some are matted and some are clear and then how, what effect that has when you look a little bit further away. So 18G. See, I guess I'm really loving this uh, black chain, but this one I really see you could do in all color shades. So you wanna go, you know, certainly pretty in the, that matte gold. This would look really good in that matte gold. Okay, but look how, how cool it looks in that antique copper as well. And then here, if we wanna go daring again on that awesome black, you know, black and pink is always, always strong. So 18G on this one. Okay, this is pretty. You guys are gonna love this one. It's a multicolored blue and green combination. Okay, so this one, it looks like you get some that are gonna be that blue, every other one being blue, and then every other one being that green. But then together, you can see the blending of when they sit and they roll. Okay, so this is 18H. I. All right, here's another one. This is kind of that pretty green with gold flecks in there. Let's take a look at that a little closer. So again, you see those gold flecks. And I would say this is maybe a little brighter color tone when you see it in person. Okay, so that's 18i. So these are all $15 per strand and they have 25 uh, beads. So sorry guys, I guess I should have that in the, wonder if I can, can't edit of course while we're going live. So 18i. This would look good with that gold and copper. You know, a lot of these you also can't really go wrong. You know, but you can see how pretty and soft it looks with this matte gold. I tend not to be a gold person, but I'll tell you something about this matte shade. I've been using gold a lot, so you never say never. <laughs> okay, I never thought I would go for a guy that had facial hair and I've got myself a, an Italian who has a five o'clock shadow at three o'clock. So, all right, 18 J you guys.
Now this is that nice teal color, but this has kind of a, um, I wouldn't say a silvery, but it has kind of an AB coat. So has kind of a, a like a gloss, like nail polish with a rainbow sheen, you know, kind of on, on it. Okay, so 18J is this next color. grab the next set of colors here. All right, 18K. Well, I guess I got, I've got to pick the most appropriate one for 18K and that's gonna be the one. I only have two more strands of this, you guys. So for those that uh, left my bracelet here, this is the color that was used for my bracelet. Okay, so it really, the colors end up standing out because I use this magenta leather, okay? So I know the color doesn't quite stand out as nicely. So you'll notice that once it's kind of made up, it, it really shows the color well, okay? So two strands of this, this is 18K, you guys. I think we might have at least the whole alphabet on this one. All right, now this is that opaque red. Look at that. That is that hot, bright red lipstick. Solid, gorgeous, I'm not messing. I'm, a, I'm on fire red. That's a good one, 18L. And now we're gonna cool that off. This is kind of 18M is this beautiful butterscotch. Ooh, dragon's blood. I like that definition there. Mary Jo. <laughs> All right, 18M. Now this one I can see with that antique copper too. As you can see the uh, stripes in it there. So I think that antique copper is kind of fitting. So 18M. Oh, this is a very cool one. I don't normally work in this color, but I think it's a very, very cool color. Look at this green with edges of blue. So pick one of those out. So this is 18 O. So you know when those pop up, you're gonna have the base of that green just popping up like peridot and then having what little beautiful pansies popping up in your garden. So 18 O on that one. Oh my gosh. I thought we could be going fast through bubbles and I, I feel like uh, maybe I have too much for tonight. <laughs> you guys ready again? You guys gonna pass out? Cause I have an extra long feed. I mean, I'm the only one that has to make it through it all. All right, 18P is this really gorgeous, I don't know. I 
don't even, what's a good description? Because this is a little bit, has a tinge of that blue that was in this particular necklace. But it's not quite a blue, not quite a green, not quite a teal, but 18P. Anybody have a good description for that one? I mean, they don't have color names. This is color 1214. <laughs> gonna stick with me all night here, Deborah. Whatever we decide to do, we're gonna see. We're gonna push it. So 18P. It's like running the marathon. Let's see how how long K lasts. I don't know. People have thought I'm like kind of like energy wise like the Energizer Bunny. All right, 18 Q, especially because some of you guys saw me earlier today. And I'm just excited now as I was then. <laughs> oh, those are some good color names. I like, I like it. Kind of like how Crayola asked for their colors. All right, we had peacock blue, a Pacific blue, a, cer a cerulean blue, and an ocean blue. Those were all good choices. All right, so this is that nice uh, soft purple, okay? And again, having that nice AB gloss on it. So what, I'm on 18Q, right? There's only two of those. All right, 18 R. Look at this one. So if you're a blue lover, you better grab on this one quick. Only two strands, 18 R. Looks great with that bright silver color tone. See, see how this looks with that nice uh, bright silver. That's a pretty one. All right, we're gonna be able to sell, say that it's gonna be a sellout tonight <laughs> on these bubble beads. That'd be pretty awesome. All right, let's see what colors I have here. All right, uh, I think we have to go to a new number here. So let me do 19 because we just have a few more. So we're going to just start over. Here's 19A. We'll start well off with the black. Okay, but it kind of, it glows because again, that has that nice clear glass on there. So I think this black, of course, if you are doing your classic color sets here, you're looking at an awesome black and white combination. Looks good. Okay, so we're on 19A is this cool black. So for all those that are stuck on black, here we go. Let's see what black on black looks like, huh? Ooh, that looks very, very cool. Right? 19A. Look at that. All right, and then you could like go funky and that's where you can add your teal leather here. Let's see if I can pull that out. It's just getting started here, so. But here's that awesome magenta color that I, I had used. I think that looks really good. Run Running through there, you guys, look at that. That's going to be a, a good color set. So grab your 19A. Well, looks like I better get some more black. <laughs> so I may take some orders on some of these color sets, you guys, and uh, see if we can make sure everybody goes home happy. All right, so 19A. So 19B is a beautiful gray and this has the little speckles of that gold flex in there. Okay, so 19B. This is where I think you can really get the stainless to 
come out here. Let's see. And this again is where you can uh, can go for doing a bright color. And in this case, I would go for like a combination in my favorite. So going for a teal. Look at this color set. Oh, I really kind of like that if I do say so. All right, so 19B. All right, so I'm just trying to show you guys color options as we're going, give you ideas, um, if you, especially since many of you guys are doing that one set of bracelet. This looks really, really good, if I do say so in person. I like that color set. All right, 19B. see look at this so if you like that white and the blue this is a matte chalky color Oops, I got the white here. so 19c is a mint I don't know minty candy cane you can see it's an opaque matte white Oh, oyster gray. That you're always so good with those color names, Carol. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of go daring and black again. <laughs> I like I like being wild. And then uh, let's see if that uh, look that teal color totally matches. So look how cool that combination is okay so if you were thinking it was a little maybe foo foo and light okay try this combination i think we might sell out of this black chain here tonight i kind of have a feeling so 19c you guys Ooh, cool all right 19d Now this is a little bit similar to my necklace. I guess it's a little bit more green. Yeah, a little bit more green, but look at that. So 19D on this one, you guys. But very yummy, you can kind of see it far, far away, how the colors then blend together. Now in that one, I can see this is where we would get into, not a color I would always use, but I feel like this one would go very well then with this antique copper. Okay, it helps make the color stand out. So 19D. All right, these ones, you guys, right now, I only have one. <laughs> okay, so. Oh. Yep, I only have one. All right, so this is kind of that lighter purple this we had used in the uh, chakra kit. Okay, so 19E. There's only one right now. It's a pretty purple. Okay, 19F, you guys, I only have one of these two. So get ready. 19F, you're going to love it. Go! I don't probably even need to show this for very long because it's just an awesome color. So. <laughs> so for some of you guys who were lucky enough to squeeze into the shop and uh, get a little bit of a sneak peek since I was playing with them in the shop, <laughs> there are a few that are missing which that's what we're going through here in these last last couple ones okay so 19 uh, G did some oh there goes that 19 F sorry guys that's kind of part of the fun too last one last one ah 
All right, 19G. Um, all right, this is going to be that kind of that gray color, but this has that AB finish on there. So I don't know if you can see that difference. I'm going to see if I can grab. See, so that other gray, so you can kind of see the difference in that shine. Okay, so this one, that when you see it along the side, you'll see it catches a little bit of tinge of uh, pink. Okay, so 19G, and then the next one is going to be the mini version of this. You guys, I, I had missed a couple, so these are some regulars. And then uh, 19H is going to be the mini version of that. Okay. These minis are so cute. Okay, so the mini size is what we're using in that same style bracelet. Okay, so if you guys want them to sit tight, I just hadn't uh, tightened this, okay? But they will, if you tighten this up, they will. But I don't mind that they're all ziggy zag. Okay, so that's what the mini size, if you don't want it to be so big. So 19H. Okay, 19I. All right, now this is a darker version of kind of what that first necklace that I have. So... 19i is this beautiful blue green touch of maybe yeah it's a golden green in there can you guys see that so 19i two strands of this beautiful blue it's a kind of a almost a deep you know carol what's my color name for this one 19i <laughs> and the next one is going to be the smaller version of it. So if you miss the bigger regular ones, this is the mini. So this is 19J. Mm. I mean, when you just really look at each piece as it's going by. Those are so pretty. Is this considered hypnotic? You know, is this what we're falling, you know, asleep saying, ooh, look at those pretty beads. You need more boro beads. Look into these boro beads. <laughs> See, we just do that until they're all sold, right? Okay, so that was, that was, I think, Covering the Boro Beach, you guys. Whew. That was fun. Now, since I've been showing you so much of the chain, I thought we could go through some of the chain now so you guys can feel like you have everything. Okay? So how does that sound? All right, so that's going to be a number 20, but let's see, maybe before... I do that. Let's see. What did I have here? All right. I wanted to give, let's see. It's like a quick commercial break, you guys. Turn this off because this like thing is so hot. All right. Boro beads. We made it through boro beads. How long did that take? What time is it? Oh, it's not too bad. We did great. Okay. So I wanted to give away these, these little guys. Okay. So these are going to be uh, jumbo in white stripes. Okay. So we had uh, showed these off this week. Okay. We're going to give these away to the first person. So is everybody listening and is everybody at their computers and making sure you're on your fastest, uh, <laughs> Okay, so to win these pair, I want you to tell me what is Boro short for? Who's the first person that can tell me what is Boro short for? Thanks, Kimberly, for the rundown. All right, I'm waiting. We're going to see. 
I'm waiting. I'm, I'm, oh, Nancy. Looks like Nancy. I will check the feed. But borosilicate, you guys. Oh, you guys are good, though. Look at you guys. Bringing them all in. Good. Oh, Rachel, you froze. Oh, oh. That's okay. I'm probably going to have another little giveaway. Okay. So, congratulations, Nancy. You got a nice pair of uh, borosilicate earrings. So, you guys, that it runs in the same family as Pyrex. So, it's like your kitchenware. So, it's very strong. It's very durable. So, I find that maybe other than a tile floor, okay? You hear that? That's congratulations, Nancy. These are how tough your earrings are, okay? So you guys can see that I'm wearing them on my bracelets, um, you know, so although you are hearing me say that they are glass, okay, they are very, very tough glass, okay? So that's why we can make them into, you know, I don't have them break very often, but you know, they are teardrop shaped, but you know, they make the tops fairly thick, okay? So congratulations, Nancy. All right, that was a nice little quick break. We're gonna go back to, all right, we're gonna work on chain, okay? So for those of you, we can, I can answer any questions as we're going. Chain is gonna be, let's see, number 20, I'm gonna be a little bit further away um, because I'm kind of going to do it by style. We're not only doing the chains that we use for the bracelet. So here we want to show, okay, this is the bracelets we're talking about. So here's antique silver. I don't know where, okay. Here's mine. I guess it lays out a little bit nicer. All right. So let's take a closer look at these things here. Okay, so this is going to be the Rolo chain. Um, all the chain uh, for this particular one is going to be $5.50 a foot. Okay, to make this bracelet, you're looking at needing about 16 inches. So you're looking at about a foot and a half to just keep it simple. Um, oftentimes I like to have these, a, a few extra links on the ending um, to kind of make this taper in nicely here. Okay. So I would say let's keep it easy. It's going to be a foot and a half, okay? Um, I normally sell this by the foot, but you can tell me, you know. So three feet will get you two bracelets, okay? Maybe a little bit of leftover as you are kind of requesting your lengths, okay? So chain style number 20 is going to be this seven millimeter Rolo chain in a bunch of different finishes. Okay, so I'm kind of going to try to see if I can get these set up in a reasonable manner and not seem too crazy. All right, so let me get myself set up here. And you kind of have an idea of the colors that... Let's see, I want to adjust. All right, so in these ones, we have an antique copper, an antique silver, uh, a black, a nice rhodium, an antique brass, and then a nice uh, bright silver. So I'm gonna kind of show you all the color finishes, and then we'll give them the letters that are gonna coincide with those. Okay, so let's see if I can get these all pulled out enough. Okay, so we can see all the colors of the Rolo that I've been pulling out here tonight, kind of showing you all the different finishes. Okay, then I'm going to show them to you guys each so that you guys can see them. Um, but let's see how many I can fit on this uh, selection here. All right, so... Obviously, we'll go from top to bottom, all right? So even if these are not perfect, we're looking at A, B, C, uh, D, let's see, E, F, G, E, F, G. All right, there, those are totally not gonna fit, but we will, I will say them and then 
Oh, here, you know what I'll do? I'll do A here, I'll do B here, I'll do C here. Let's see if that works. <laughs> D is the black. But I'm, I'm sure you guys are, are smart people here. So hopefully you can not make this confusing <laughs> or I'm not making this confusing, okay? So we have uh, 20 in the antique silver is gonna be A and the matte gold is, oh, that's not even on the page, huh? Okay, that's not helpful. Let me try backing that up. How's that? <laughs> okay, so I can now spread them out a little bit more even. Okay, and then we'll show you each of the colors here. Okay, so we have the uh, 20A is gonna be a beautiful antique silver. It's $5.50 a foot. Okay, if you guys want any of that, we're gonna do uh, number 20. Then you're gonna need to tell me the letter and then you're gonna need to tell me how much footage you want of that, okay? So 20A is gonna be this nice antique silver. Okay, um, oop, B. is this beautiful matte gold that I ended up using quite a bit. Here's that antique copper. And don't forget all, all that black chain too. Okay, so we have A, B, so antique copper is C. The black is D, that awesome black. That ended up almost matching everything, you guys, I felt like. So this is 20D, is the nice matte black Rolo, $5.50 a foot. Um, the only one that's a little bit different is gonna be the gold. So the gold is $6 a foot, you guys, just so you know, this matte gold. And this is a nice rhodium. So this kind of has a stainless steel look. Okay, this is also a good masculine. And because it has a nice rhodium plated finish, it is, you know, anti-tarnish finish. But all of these, I want you guys to know, so all of the chains that I'm showing here tonight are lead and nickel free. They are plated here in the USA and they are an extremely good high quality finish, okay? Um, I've actually gone into hot tub with the gunmetal color and you know, the might have made it a little bit more matted, but it held up actually quite incredibly for as harsh as the chemicals are in a hot tub. I was actually trying to test it out. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, 20F is gonna be the antique brass. It's a matte gold used in the bracelet with the white beads. Yes, it is, Pam. That's the matte gold. So any of the gold that I've shown, so that was with these pearls, okay, was done with the matte gold. So Paula, the size of the Rolo chain, this is the seven millimeter size. I think I missed that question. So this is a seven millimeter Rolo. Okay, so 20F. Okay, and then there's a 20G, and that's gonna be that bright silver. Yeah, Paula, it's a seven millimeter. I'm gonna do the uh, smaller size next, and that's the, like, I don't know, five. I call it a five millimeter. I think technically it's like a 5.2 or something like that. Okay, so 20G is the bright silver. Okay, you guys, anytime if you guys are worried about the finish on any of your metals, uh, we introduced a glaze here. What was it, last week maybe? Um, but there's a glaze that you can put on to finishes. It helps uh, keep it from the air, you know, and oxidation. Um, in fact, I don't know about you guys, but I was telling somebody about the, these little gel packs. So sometimes in your food, 
okay you get those uh these what are, what are these silica gels okay and you know what they're doing is sucking the oxygen you know and moisture out of the air okay so these are great to put into like your jewelry box or anything that has you know things that might tarnish and stuff you can i think you can stick these in there oh. all right so we've got 20 a b c d e f and g okay if you guys have any questions you know we can certainly answer them later um but you can always uh check out the feed because these are all the parts and components that you need for this bracelet we've been showing guys we're all excited getting this chain in all right so that's the seven millimeter rollo next up i'm going to do the uh, five millimeter texture chain so I'm gonna put a couple of them out here wow this one I think I have most most of those base colors not quite as many so it's kind of I'll give you an idea well I get these out of my way create some room here that matte rollo is, is is really something else I like that all right so in this one um let's see so this one is where we did the little purple and i don't know if you can see there but there that's textured of course you can certainly use chain for a variety of things um you can you know that I love chain so but here's the texture chain and this we have in five five finishes so we have it in a bright silver an antique silver the matte gold antique brass and copper and these ones the gold is running five dollars a foot and everything else is running four dollars and fifty cents a foot for this chain here okay so we're gonna show off each color here but let's let me just lay out the number or the letters so we're on 21 okay so we have 21 a we'll do as the bright silver okay then 21 B I'm gonna do as the antique silver Make it easy for myself here. Okay, C is gonna be the matte gold. And again, you're gonna need the same amount of footage because your wrist is kind of the same size there. So one and a half is uh, good. So we'll do uh, 21D and 21E. Okay, and then I'll show each uh, the colors a little bit closer. So if you want, uh, this is the five millimeter textured Rolo chain. Okay, so 21A is this nice bright silver. Twenty one B is going to be this antique silver. Ooh. I have a little cramp in my leg. Let me stretch that out. Um, 21C is this nice matte gold. Twenty one D is gonna be this antique brass. You know that looks a little dark on the screen, but let me see if I can. Well, it's antique brass, what can I say? All right, and then we have the nice antique copper. Okay, 
Okay, so that's 21 is the textured five millimeter. So if you guys are doing any of the little minis. But this is just great chain in general. It's a good middle size. So those lariats that you're doing, this is great doing the, even, even doing this style design, this would have been a, a great chain to have done this side with as well. But again, when you're doing those long styles just like this, you know, if you don't have something quite as large, or maybe if we had just done the tassel, you know, this would have uh, also looked nice. So people who don't want maybe such a fancy chain or not into getting something, you know, quite as expensive, this chain also looks very good. Pretend that wasn't there. Okay, so that's 21 A, B, C, D, and E. So we've got five color finishes in that one. Okay, so we'll do 22. You guys been liking the chain? Thought I'd, uh, I always think it's hard to buy chain online, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to throw it into tonight. And so the ones that I started with are the ones that we used in, in the project. So I'm going to introduce some of the other chains that we had also used this week. Um, for those that have might have, might have wanted some. Okay, so in this particular design, we had used a two different styles of chain. Okay, so style number uh, 22 is going to be uh, this rounded chain that we had cut up and used in the center here. So you can see how it comes by the foot. Okay, so this one we have in five color finishes also. So we have A, B, C, D, and E. So this one we have in the bright silver, we have in the matte gold, and this one we have in the gunmetal. Okay, antique brass and the antique uh, copper. Okay, so 22A is this nice bright silver. You can kind of see the sizing in my hand. For the style chain and the color. There's that matte gold again. So 20. So this one here, these ones are all six dollars a foot for this one. And actually the gold we've marked the same here too. So I guess we kept it all the same. So six dollars a foot for this kind. So that's a pretty matte gold. Okay, here's a look at gunmetal. Yeah, it's a great layering chain. And in fact, you know, you can do all three color finishes really because I'm I'm a mixed chain girl so you can see how those all look together absolutely this is a great layer chain so that was great suggestion all right this is this is mixed up <laughs> all right so this was Antique copper next was eight, uh, 22D. Look at that. This is the O chain. <laughs> Guess we can make up chain names too. Okay, so uh, 22D is the antique copper. You can kind of see that tone. And 
Then 22E is, I'm sorry, that last one was antique brass. If I, I think I misspoke there. And then this is the antique copper is 22E. Okay, Trisha, I see 22, uh, 22C, four feet each. So I want to be clear there. So 22A and B, okay, four feet. Okay, and 22C also went four feet. Okay, just making sure I was clear on some of those messages, but I'll certainly let you know. But yeah, that, lay, that would layer very nicely together. So that's style number 22 tonight. The O chain. Okay, um, the next style I'm gonna show you is kind of that good, just everyday chain. Um, we used it in the, ta uh, in the tassel and in my earrings. So, I don't think you can see much of it, but it, it was in the video and it's just a super light chain, but we used it to hang all of these uh, dangles on. It also makes a great extender chain. So if you're using the lobsters and you want the adjustable uh, sizing, this is a great chain for that. On top of it, it's only $2 a foot. So this one we have in six color finishes. Okay, and so this is the style chain we're looking at. So very simple, very light, goes with everything. This would be a great one, also layering. Um, so if you were kind of doing like the necklace that I'm wearing with my ring on it, okay, this would be great. You could hold, put three of them together, maybe even five of them together, and then stick your ring on there. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, 22. Nope, we already did 22, right? So better change that. 23. Usually like to start off with the silver, so we'll start off with the bright silver, antique silver, matte gold. Uh, antique copper. I'm sorry, antique brass on that. And uh, for 23D, and then 23E is the antique copper. Okay, so these are all two dollars a foot, even in the gold on that one. So here's the bright silver 23A. We're gonna get to some other fun ones here in a moment, but this is a simple one. Trisha, I'm not, I wasn't showing any sterling, but I do have it. So maybe we can video chat and we can add some sterling chain and I can show you those as well. There's only so much I can uh, end up finding <laughs> I have time for on a Friday Night Live. So these are ones that I had shown during the week and we had been using in the project. So I wanted to make them available to you guys. Okay, so you can see how the chain was used. So 23A. Okay, now we have the antique uh, silver, which is 23B. Okay, 23C is that nice matte gold. And like I said, also great on that extender. So if you're trying to make an adjustable necklace, you can put, you know, uh, two inches of this on the end with a little dangle to finish it off and then a lobster claw to make an extender. Maybe we'll do a little episode on that. Okay, and then uh, 23D is the antique brass. Okay, and 23E is the antique copper. Hey, sweet pea. You wanna say hello? No? I wanna say hi to you. Just hi to me, okay. You look super cute though. I thought maybe we could show off your jammies here tonight. Nope, not looking to show himself tonight, but that's okay. All right, 20, that was 23. 
Okay, now we're going to do the one that we had also used today on the bracelet here. I'll show you what that looks like. So this will be style number 24. This one just has three colors here. So if you weren't with us this afternoon, um, let me show you, we made this little bracelet with the Boro drops today. Okay, so you can see this sweet little bracelet. Okay, and we used uh, this style chain here today. And this also layers quite nicely as well. So I can show you. That looks great from afar. Good badge holder chain. Um, you know, chain is so decorative, you do less work. So if you find nice chain, then you can just hang a pendant on it. Okay, so this one is coming in three colors. We have it in the, uh, it runs, this one runs $7.50 a foot. Okay, so they, we have antique silver. We have the matte gold and a gunmetal on that. So 24 A, B, and C. This is tangled up here. Don't want me to roll it anymore. This has started at the wrong side here. Okay. So those are all really pretty finishes. So we have A, B, and C. These are 24 A, B, and C for $7.50 a foot. Yeah, it would make a great ankle bracelet. Okay, so here's the gunmetal. Okay, here's the matte gold. We only have a little bit of this. It's so soft looking. I just really like that matte gold. Look at that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. And then the Antique Silver 24A. Yeah, that's a good chain. And, you know, you don't lose any links. You can cut those out. So this one, we just used one of those two links and just added those little Boro drops to it. See how cute that is? So we could have uh, made that into... A necklace as well and super cute all right so that's style number 24 then I have uh, that snake chain I have sold out of some of the colors before tonight so, but that's okay uh, this will be style number 25 so this was used in the chakra necklace so it's kind of a snake cable chain so this will be style number 25 okay so we used it here on this side um i don't know if those might have been following Kristen ho she had used this on her Cellini um pendant okay and for those also if you didn't watch today's episode that uh we are going to be having a Zoom class with the Cellini Spiral. Okay, but this is a chain that was used. So I'm sure I'm going to have to get some more. So this is going to be 25A and B. Well, I have it in the bright silver. And then the antique copper. Okay, and these ones run $4.25 a foot. Say this is probably a four millimeter thickness, a three millimeter thickness. And then we're going to get to a jumbo size. So I brought the larger size just so you could check it out. We haven't used it, but I just like it. And that is looking at more like a six millimeter size. No, although we say six millimeter. <laughs> In this next size, this will be style number 26. This is the thicker version of this snake chain. 
and it's a six millimeter, but you know, when I kind of look and feel it, it's, it looks much heavier or much thicker, but this is a great guide chain. Okay. 26, uh, 26 A and B. All right, this style runs $12 and 50 cents a foot. So, you know, I kind of like this just plain as a bracelet. Don't even need to do anything. Kind of looks like chain mail. Okay, so 26 A and B. We have antique silver and the matte gold in this particular style. But very pretty, runs at $12 a foot. All right, I'm gonna throw this next one out and then we're, I'm running to take a bathroom break and then we're gonna maybe take a look at some leather. So this is gonna be style number 27 and this is one that you've just never seen before. I just think that it's really pretty. I think it would make a great earring. You could put a, one of the little drops of the boro beads on it. And I'm gonna let you take a look at this while I run to the bathroom, okay? So 27A and B, it's gonna be silver and the matte gold this one runs seven dollars and fifty cents a foot we'll show you those a little bit closer here but i just i just think this is a really really cool chain let me zoom out a little bit so it makes a great little earring so this is 27 a and b seven dollars and fifty cents a foot this I think would actually make a really great anklet too. Or a mermaid crown. So make a great mermaid crown. All right, so 27 A and B. And I'm sorry I don't have Jonah to help me out here, guys. So hang tight. Yeah, that would be heavy enough, uh, Mary Jo, for that. I'm just going to plug this in while I'm going because it looks like we've run my battery. All right, now I'm running. I wanted that charging, though. But now it's going to sit funny. Let's see. Move a couple things. If that balances. All right, 27 A and B, um, and I'm running. good to even stretch the legs since I'm all tucked in here in my little spot. All right, I gotta find something. Oh, here I have this. There we go. Got something here that might be spitting here, here. Maybe. Gets a little funny with that cord stuck at the bottom. All right, so 27 A and B, that was the last of the chains. And then I thought we could go quick over some leathers and then I, I brought in some new component parts and thought I'd show them off to you guys tonight because I thought they were really pretty. They were really colorful. All right, so 27. All right, so. All right, 28. Let me see the best way to do this here. Because I'm going to take up a little bit of space. 
All right, you guys, so this was some of the leathers. Uh, I'm gonna do the two millimeter first. Um, where? Okay, so in this middle size, if you're using the seven millimeter Rolo chain with the regular size bubble beads, then I used a two millimeter leather in it. Okay, so 28, we're gonna quickly maybe Cruise through some of this, all the leather colors. Okay, but I think we can fit uh, quite a few here. All right. See what the best way to do this is without having to <laughs> take up too long for, for leather, but these are a little bit bigger spools, so. I brought some color choices for you guys so you can see. So we have 16 colors here. And I don't know if I can get all of the colors in, but this is going to be 28. So you guys can screenshot that color set. So these are going to be some of the colors that we have. And I'm going to go A. Well, and then I'll show each color. So B, C, uh, D, E, F, and where, what happened to the rest of my alphabet? <laughs> uh, I have a bunch of numbers. What happened to all my letters? Are they covered? Okay, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, H, I, J, K, L, M. I find it very strange. Oh, here. Hair fat. They were like hiding. All right, can't get that D to stay up. F, G, G is black. H is brown, so it's two dollars a yard for two millimeters. So to keep it easy, it's pretty much you know a dollar a millimeter. So two millimeter, you need two yards. You end up using about a yard and a half, but you do not want to be short. Okay, so H I J K, and then L. Okay, so we're gonna have sixteen colors in the two millimeter leather. Okay. Why is it being all weird? That charging cord really gets it a little funny. All right, so style A, this is going to be 28A. It's going to be this cool green. And I know that some of these can be a little uh, difficult in terms of matching, but let's see. So when we were looking at this uh, color set, this would be great with, say, this antique brass. So anything that you're doing this antique brass with, this is a great color combination. Okay, so that's 28A for this particular, I guess it's an antique brass leather. And then B is gonna be a nice golden color tone. Okay, so this is 20, 28B. This also looks good with the brass as well. Um, but it also looks really good with any of the golden tone as well. So here it is with the matte gold. So that's 28B. Okay, 28C is this nice kind of green color. This matches a lot of the greens that I think showed here. So that is 28C for this particular color. And 
this one, um, where did I just put that? So this would be pretty, pretty color set for that. Even looks like it show, shows kind of, they call this an ocean green. If you can see that. All right. So we have 28 A, B and C. Those are kind of your earthy colors. Okay. And then we've got that nice red. So if you were doing any of the reds, this looks great with the silver and the red boro beads. Okay, so that is 28D, 28D for that one. And then we have a nice kind of coppery color tone. Is 28, 28E. I would say it's kind of a coppery color. Um, let me see if I put it next to like a coppery chain. How it ends up looking next to that. Guess that shows it a little bright. Let's see if I can move it into a different lighting to See the coloring of that. So that one is twenty eight ABC E. There it is for that copper. And then this is a nice uh, 28F is this awesome silver. Okay, I tend to end up using this color a lot. Okay, so that's 28F for this one. And of course, this goes, you know, pretty much with all the, all the colors, especially if you use the bright silver, this is almost kind of like a neutral color. Okay, so, and then if you want the standard black, you know it goes with everything. We have 28G. Okay, two millimeter black leather. This is all leather. Okay, and then if you want kind of that, <laughs> if you want to stick safe, you know, you know, black and brown is pretty much going to fit most of them. Okay, uh, all the color sets. All right, so that's 28H. And then we have this awesome teal color. Okay, I would say it's a little brighter than it's showing for. feel like that light isn't quite doing it justice here. Okay, so this is 28i. This is a great teal. Okay, this is the pink that I used. So this is 28j. This is like a candy, candy purple. Kind of metallic finish okay let's see that's k so 28k and then we have that really light color purple okay so these are all two dollars a yard if you guys are getting for the bracelets i would estimate uh, two yards per bracelet okay you end up using about a foot and a half but i would tell you to be on the safe side of course on the leather Okay, because you don't want to get through all the weave and then not have enough. Okay, so this is 28. Okay, so A, B, C, D, E, F, H, I, J, K, L, M. Okay. I'm going to see if I can help uh, you guys. So if you were picking out some of the color sets, you can uh, kind of see maybe how some of them will go with it. So like this blue, this awesome blue one, 
Because remember, that like goes great with this teal. Okay, this red one obviously goes really well with this red. So a lot of the reds, those went well. This, you can see it also looks good with the silver. Okay, so if you did um, bright, bright silver Rolo, then you could do this silver color here. Um, this one, I was actually seeing that this green almost goes with it, but that teal. And of course, you can always be changing up the color. So sometimes, you know, if you were doing, I was trying to do the dumb jumbos because you could see the color. But let me show you something like that, you know, and then this is where I like, you know, throwing in my different color tones. Okay, and you can see the difference of what gold would look like with that set. No problem, Joanne, I'll look through that feed. Okay, but then you can see, okay, maybe not a gold fan. You can see how gorgeous. This looks also with the silver combination. Okay, let's take a Let's take this, uh, maybe this black color. Let's see. This is where you could, if I can find the start of this here. There it is. So this again, I think would look good with that. Actually this gold. So it's a golden color. And I think that would be very pretty. Let's see if I can hold that a little bit better in a better way for you. So it's kind of like what your bracelet would end up looking like. So isn't that a fun combination? So, so kind of, I just want to show you how the colors look with them. Because I know it's kind of hard to put them all together sometimes. So of course you know, you know the purple goes with this magenta, also goes with the light. Actually could go with this too. But you could certainly go for my purple and teal combination. You can't go wrong. All right, so that's uh, 28. That's going to be the uh, two millimeter. Oh, sorry, you guys. I actually found one more color stuck away here. I actually found two more colors in the two mil. So we had A, B, C, D, E, F, H, I, J, K, L, M. Okay, and that's all we could fit on the screen anyway. Let me see if I can stick those. <laughs> So I have two more colors, and I thought I had these nice bright colors, so this matched one of the blues. Now this uh, is not quite as navy as that's looking. Let me see what color that matches, though. Let's see how that matches. Or that matches. So this is 28. M and M and O are gonna be purple and this blue is 28 M and O. I don't know what happened to my 28. Disappeared in here. Okay, 28. So if we're taking screenshots, this is gonna be that nice purple color and then a nice blue color if you want some of the bright colors, okay? So that's the all of 28 in the two millimeter leathers. 
Okay, and then if you're doing the tinies, um, I'm also like that fuzz out. There we go. All right. So twenty nine. See if we can not be so crazy on the, the leather. It, it just gets crazy. I don't know. So maybe I'll try to do the neutral colors on top. How does that work here? All right, so here's 29. These are gonna be 1.5 1 millimeter leather. And I'll try to get through these quick because I had some really cool pieces I wanted to show you of some earring parts and enamel uh, component rings that I thought were really pretty that were just kind of a surprise and that also arrived today. Okay, so these are all 1.5 millimeter. Again, you will want to have the two yards uh, for the smaller bracelet. So if you're using the five millimeter textured Rolo, then you will want to use um, the 1.5 millimeter leather. Okay, this is also a great leather. We've used this in a lot of other designs as well. I like this particular thickness. Okay, so. Let's see if I can arrange this in any kind of way, shape, or form here. So we'll kind of do the neutral colors on top here um, and see if I can get them wrapped up and we'll try to keep it easy and quick. And I'll try to show you the colors as, as fast as we can here. Have uh, another not done lives enough to know the best way to showcase everything. So <laughs> here we go. So 1.5 millimeter leather is $1.50 a yard. Okay, and again, you'll need two yards for your design. This is gonna be 29 for 1.5 millimeter leather, uh, $1.50 a yard. Okay, need two yards. So we're gonna start off, if you're taking screenshots, this is A, B, C, D, E, F, H I J K L M N O. Okay, let's make it easy. Can you guys figure that out? A B C. Okay, D E F H I J K L M N O. I guess we'll have an N because I don't have to actually show it. Okay, so 29A, that nice silver color. Goes with everything. Got your nice browns. Okay, that's 29B. 29C is your nice black. I don't know what to call this color, but I end up using it quite a lot. It's kind of a great neutral, kind of brown, kind of metallic-y, kind of just seems to go with everything for whatever reason. You know, it's kind of brown, kind of golden, okay? But I like this particular color. I've just gotten some new colors in here too. So 29 uh, E is this nice golden color. That really makes things pop, especially uh, looks good with the red. Okay, here's that, what you guys were kind of maybe looking at as like a maroon, but it's kind of a coppery color. So this is that metallic candy purple. We had that in the matching two millimeter. So this is 29G. This is 29H. Oop, don't know. 29H is this nice bubble gummy pink. So if you were doing that pink one, this would match really well. 
This is kind of that nice sapphire denim lapis blue is a good one. Oh, here's a great purple metallic. So this is 29J, just to kind of give you an idea. Okay, 29K is that nice magenta, so that was in my bracelet. Just got a fresh new spool of that one in, that one's so pretty. Great color. Okay, and this is a nice teal, I think Paula, that might match that teal green one, that Oro bead that you liked. This is a fun green. Uh, Carol, this is a green that I think you like a lot. It's kind of light colored, minty green. So this is 29N. And this is 29O, it's a nice metallic uh, fern green. I would call this color. Okay, and I know these ones are might be things that you're gonna have to maybe go back on as you're thinking about what color set you got, and um, and then you can choose these, okay? But I wanted to be able to show them to you because I know that it can be hard trying to uh, create your own kits, and I'm happy to help you along the way if you have trouble even with tonight, okay? So that is the leather. Oop. All right, all right, let me throw that, grab a little sip here. How about a quick little intermission and another giveaway for a pair of earrings? I have some red ones that I wanna give away. I wanna know, can you tell me, are you guys close to your computers? Cool off for a second here. Uh, all right, get close to your computers. Can you tell me what the name of the company who makes these beautiful Boro teardrop beads is called? All right, whoever guesses it is gonna get a red pair of jumbo earrings. And if I can find them, I will show them to you. But they are not close by. But they're like the white ones, but they're red. And, oh, here, there's my sample. All right, so is, are people still with me? <laughs> What's the name of the company who makes these Boro beads? It's very magical. It's a very magical name. Who wants the red pair of Boro silicate earrings? Anybody know? I know there are people out there that know the answer to this. So what is the name of the company or maker of these beautiful Boro silicate beads that we're making tonight? I wanna to see who's been listening, who's been watching, and who loves these bubble beads? I guess we don't care who the maker is. We just are happy that they're making, just like I'm happy you guys are making. Is everyone still in their bathroom break? Nobody knows? Do I have to ask a different question? Okay, what's the name of the owner? Because I said his name today. What's the name of the owner of the company <laughs> who makes these beads? Huh, anybody, anybody? We forget. <laughs> okay, let's see. I have to ask another question, you guys. Nobody's gonna win these teardrop earrings or am I late on this feed? What's going on? Huh? Huh? Nobody knows? Is anybody still with me? <laughs> Did we just leave me on play? All right, well then I can just move on and then you guys are gonna catch the replay and then I'm gonna see who, who can look it up and find out. <laughs> 
I'm not getting comments for some reason. Yeah, I think something happened. All right. Ah, <laughs> I was talking to myself and said I had to refresh. Okay, thank you guys. Somebody refreshed my screen. All right, well, nobody at least knew, so I wasn't missing anything. Okay, so the company name is Unicorn Beads. Okay, so nobody got that. But it looks like, I think Sherry Lynn, you got Doug. Doug was the name. Thanks for telling me to. I didn't know, I don't know, I wouldn't refresh it. But Sherry Lynn, it looks like, yes, Doug is the name of the owner. All right, so congratulations, Sherry Lynn. You got yourself a beautiful set of red Boro Dumbo earrings. Congratulations. All right, you guys, so speaking of earrings and Dumbo, um, did somebody get unicorn and I didn't uh, see it? And my thing just completely froze. All right, well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, bummer. And I don't, I, <laughs> you guys all did. <laughs> and I'm sitting here saying, what, what is the name? I know somebody has to know the name. Crickets, crickets. All right. Oh, did Sherry Lynn also get it for Unicorn? All right, I'm gonna see if maybe it shows it in my feed later on um, and see, okay? So if we're all okay, we'll let Sherry, we'll, we will think that Sherry Lynn won for right now unless they see otherwise, okay? I will check in the feed, but otherwise I'm going with Sherry Lynn, guys. So, sorry, welcome to Facebook Live. That's how it goes. All right, so you guys, the, Thanks so much for an awesome night. I, um, that was kind of the main of everything, but if you guys wanted to keep going, I actually had these beautiful components just come in along with this chain. Um, it was my same supplier and there's some beautiful enamel pieces and I kind of felt like wanting to show them off because I didn't get very many. I was just trying them out, but the quality is really good and I thought that might be the Friday night special. Okay, so... If you guys are with me, hmm, I will refresh that feed, see if anyone's still talking to me. You guys are still there, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna play around. I think I wanna show off some of these uh, other components. And go a little bit longer. All right, so, oh, ouch, I just sat on one of those bracelets. All right, so we were playing with earring parts and stuff, and I know sometimes it's hard to find some cool, cool earring, earring components. So I got a few new ones in, and these ones, unfortunately, so we showed these off here today, and we're selling the kits to these and sold out. So I don't have uh, these particular hooks, but I had these new ones come in, and I thought I'd just show them off. So for those that may, you know, even be local, um, sometimes we put a whole bunch of new things into the store and it's really hard to see that, you know, we might have put a, a hundred things in the store, but when we know that beads are like this small, okay, it's hard to see in our entire store what is exactly new, okay? So I'm finding that this whole Friday Night Live and doing the Bead With Me's have been a great time to showcase the things as they're coming in, okay? So I thought I'd do that here with you guys tonight, okay? So this is going to be... Some beautiful uh, enameled components, okay? On top of some everyday earring parts. So I'm gonna start off with earring components. And this one would have been one that I would have used. So if you're not, let me zoom this in a little bit. Let's see, we can get closer to these because these are much tinier pieces, so you can see them. Okay, so these I have in gold and silver in the posts, 
but I think that if you don't like the hook style, like the ones that I was wearing just now, and you want them to hang a little bit higher, this one I think would have made a really nice base. So this is a post. Okay, and we have them in silver and gold. So here's the, the back here. Okay, and then you can dangle off of that ring. You can see they're nice and thick, very sturdy, well-made, lead and nickel free. Okay, these run $6.00. Let's see. I'm sorry. These ones run $7 a pair. This is going to be 30 A and B since we have a gold and silver. Okay. We'll do silver as A and that is not B. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know where B is. Mixed. Lost. Where's B? All right. Oh, there it is. All right, so A and B. So these are $7 a pair for these posts. Um, I really like them. It was a new post that actually, that I had never gotten before. But I really like them. And I was gonna use them on here. Would have made a nice, nice post. Okay, so those are $7 a pair, 30 A and B. Okay, another great post. These ones run $6 a pair. Uh, these are teardropped in a slight hammered design. And I think a little borrow cluster there. Nice little drop would look really good. So these ones are $6 a pair. Teardrop, slightly hammered shape. So 30 A and B. Uh... I guess I'll keep them here. So I have 30 A as gold. Let me scoot that out a little bit. 30 A is the gold. 30 B is the silver. Okay. Those are cool components. And then these are neat too. This is 31, this one will be 31 A and B as well. I like these, I meant to do silver and gold here. Okay, but these are posts, but they're kind of long posts. So your earring's gonna go there, it comes down. So sometimes when you've wanted that nice long stick at the top, okay? And then you can hang a nice briolet, um, even do any of your stitching work, but these are a very cool post. And actually, you could probably just put one little dangle on the bottom there too. Adds a great bit of color. So these ones are also $6 a pair in gold and silver. <laughs> you guys, I'm crazy. I keep switching these back and forth. So 31A is silver, 31B is the gold. Let me show you the gold one. I like these. Okay, so 31B for the gold. Now we have more uh, in the shop. These ones were brand new ones that we haven't carried before. So if you guys are looking for more decorative ear wires and stuff, those are something that we do carry a lot of and they're ever changing, but there's some, you know, tried and true ones that we carry pretty often and this is one of them. All right, 32. Okay, these are a brand new style design. These are cool enamel posts. I was thinking that these would have been great even for our our little tassel that we had made. But look at these, you guys. Look how pretty these posts are. You know, finding pretty posts, because I know people have stretched out ears and 
always looking for something pretty to put there as they are designing and I think these are gorgeous. Sturdy, well-made posts have a little uh, ring along the bottom so you can hang something off of there. These run $14 a pair. I'm going to have these in uh, several different colors. This is kind of a uh, coral, coral pink color. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. <laughs> How are you? So these run $14 a pair. So this is 32A. Can I show you something? Yes, please. We had lost her outside. I don't want out there. What did you have outside? Oh, that little crawl dad. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was out there, and there was a treat in the water still because the crawl dad didn't need it. Oh, you gave the crawl dad a treat? Yeah, Ivan's treat. Okay. And Ivan didn't do These are not. very cream colored ones. And I'll show you some colors as Jonah tells us his story here. And I still have another little part. Okay. And uh, Ivan did not knock over the cup and eat the lobster. He did not eat the little crawl dad? No. No, the little lobster. Yeah. Yeah. Did it's he ruined. did he know what it was? Did he smell it and look in there? I don't, I, I just looked out and he didn't eat it. Mm. So I don't, I can't, <gasps> whoa, I really like that little bead right there. Oh. Those two? You guys don't even know what Jonah's looking at. Those are some of my specialty. Maybe we'll let you take a peek. Don't you guys like hearing uh, Jonah's Friday night stories? <laughs> All right, so these ones run $14 a pair. These are some beautiful enameled gold. Can you please turn that back on? Hey, Jonah. Can you please turn on my light? Can you please turn on the light? Oh, did I turn it off? Yes. Good job. Thank you for remembering, though. I was still in here, though. <laughs> okay, so these are some beautiful, uh, let's see, let me give you an idea of the sizing because uh, I don't know where my caliper is, but let's see. Kind of give you your millimeter size. What is this? 18 millimeter. So these are eight millimeter posts. Very sturdy, very well done. I have them in four colors. So I have A, B, C, and D. He cracks me up. <laughs> so my husband was, you know, doing some construction and he had found a crawdad in one of the in one of the creeks and he had brought it home in a cup. And so we have this crawl dad in a cup right now. And I think they're trying to keep it. We have this uh, little aquarium that are made for those, uh, whatever, those alpha fish or whatever. And, and so I think they wanna put it in there for right now. All right, so four colors of this. Um, these ones, I'm going to show some really cool rings that are also going to go with it um, that are just really fun. But I just thought these were super cool. $14 for the pair. Um, I only have maybe one or two pairs of them. I'm just trying them out, seeing how we like them. You know, I think the colors are great. I'm going to be messing around. I think there's a beautiful uh, teardrop ring that I have. And then uh, hanging something fun in the center would be so great on these. So you guys are just getting the sneak peek. Just a uh, brand new merchandise that has never been in, in store. Hey, Celia. How's it going? Glad you could catch us. We're showing off some new components in the store that have never been seen. So these are some nice earring posts. Uh, 30... 32 A, B, C, and D. We have four colors and they run $14 a pair. Really pretty. Okay, 33. So these are 55 millimeter enameled rings. Look at these. These are very, very cool. They're very sturdy. I actually thought that, um, you know, people are always looking for big rings, right? So, here's this sample. What happened to the sample? 
All right, I don't know where it is right now. All right, I could take off my earring. Oh, I took my lid off too. I'm missing an earring. I'm missing. Am I wearing the necklace? I'm not wearing the earring. Oh, there's the other ring. But uh, these uh, 55 millimeter rings made very similar in the same color set. So one, I guess if you're into big earrings, these would be pretty awesome. Okay, I guess you could make this into a, a pendant that way. So we could go this way. So if you don't want to use them as earring hooks, you know, you can use that as a, a drop to come off. But these are going to be in those ma matching colors. But very pretty rings. These rings are sixteen dollars, uh, fifty-five millimeters, so they're rather large, but they're beautifully enameled, extremely high quality. You know, it's kind of that great costume jewelry that's really well made. You know, does the royal blue have a silver? Uh, these, unfortunately, these all have gold edging. I'd be right there with you, girlfriend. I I prefer prefer silver, but they, they didn't have it. I most certainly would have ordered it. Okay, but I thought that, look how our little tassel guy looks, just for fun. I'm just hooking it on there, but but you could hang that fun little tassel on there. I guess that was not a good way to hang it. Of course, I was doing it in the teal one. But look how pretty. This looks, we'll do all the color sets here in just a second, but I like to kind of show you how you can use these, but you're putting anything in the center. But I thought that, that looked really good. And then putting that on a fun chain, right? And that'd be a bottom center piece. So I really like these. These ones are 16 each. We've got four colors here. So we've got color A, which is gonna be that pink coral. Then I'll go with the white here for B, and then the bright blue and this awesome teal. And if you're just into big earrings, okay, these would make great big earrings too. So let's see. I'll show them, show them to you. Like this. Big ol' hoops. I used to wear hoops this big <laughs> back in the day. Hey, Nicole, did you ever used to wear them rings as big as this? Have you been busy making my my spring rolls? <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, I wanted you to get an idea of what the, the sizing was on these guys. Okay, so very pretty, very large, but... But you can see then it allows for a good size, you know... Yeah, still wearing hoops. <laughs> if I didn't make jewelry, I'd probably be still wearing hoops too. And you know, if you have those uh, simple hoops, you guys, you can take, you know, something like this and just string them right onto there. And then you can have different uh, danglies on the, uh, on the bottom of those good old fashioned hoops. Okay, so 33, uh, we have A, B, C, and D. These are just some new components I just wanted to show off. I, I think they're so fun. I'm going to be playing messing around with these ones here. All right, um, 34, we just have uh, two more things and then uh, I think we can probably wrap it up for tonight. Can you believe it? Ah. All right, so uh, 34 A and B, I have, um, let's see, these are still part of the enamels. They only had these two colors. So these are pendants, earrings, whatever you want them to be. They run $14 each. And I know you guys can't tell the quality in these, but these are really, really thick, very sturdy, and beautifully enameled. The colors are fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, they're gold. Okay, I can't say unfortunately. The gold actually really enhances them quite nicely. And um, let's see, the sizing on this is I think about a 20, 26, 27 uh, millimeter. Okay, so these ones run $14 each. I only have uh, two of each. This is gonna be 34A for the color I just showed. And this is a nice 
graduated color set. So these are, has a light, light pink in there and then all those beautiful teals. Okay, it's a beautiful pair of earrings, you guys, for 28 bucks. So again, we're just trying some pieces out. Thought those were really pretty. My thing is creeping here. Okay, and then, I wish I could find that necklace. The Druzy necklace, you guys. Um, this was also one more metal component because we seem to like those. It's going to be, this is 35, maybe. All right, maybe not. Of course, I can't find a 35. Of course not. I'm going to skip a whole bunch of numbers. 2930. All right, well, this is the number I can find. So <laughs> here's a random 41. Um, but I just thought this piece was awesome. If you guys did the Druzy, um, I thought that you could really do a lot with this component piece. I'm excited to uh, mess around with this. But, you know, you could have done this right at the center, had that drop off. Looks very yoga style. This is going to be $5 for this particular component and then hanging chain right up the top. But I think this is a very, very cool component. Only comes in silver, $5. Okay, so that's my random 41. I know, we, just, we skipped, I don't, I don't know what happened there. And I also don't know what happened to the uh, Druzy, Druzy design. I have my tray right here of every other sample that uh, I showed off tonight. On top of, I lost. Oh, there's both earrings I have at least that. But, you know what happened to the. Alright, well, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Found my caliper though. <laughs> Alright, you guys, that was a fantastic Friday Night Live. Was that fun? I'm always uh, trying to keep it interesting and having some different things every night. So a little bit of chain, a little bit of leather, a little bit of boro beads, and a little bit of new stuff, right? And a lot of wine. I'm like super hot because the lights are hot and I'm busy looking around for things that can't seem to find because I'm surrounded in beads and chain and leather, you guys. So I know that's sometimes hard to mix and match, but I wanted to try to kind of give you guys kind of the whole kit and caboodle because I know we were talking about being able to make the kits, but everyone is so uh, individual. So because we were showing the bubble beads, then you can help match it. If you have problems or you just want to trust in that I will just pick the rest of the kit, I can certainly do that for you guys too. Okay, so awesome, awesome, you guys. Um, let's see, there was a couple of things we'll, we'll go over before the night is over. Okay, so Friday night live. This one is done and out the window. So what are we going to do for next week, right? That's the question. How about, are we going to go back to buttons? Should we do some vintage? And I don't know. Um, we could go back to maybe doing some more stone. I always have uh, stone. Maybe we need to do pearls. I don't know, throw in your votes. I like just seeing what you guys are thinking each week. I've had a lot of suggestions also for um, doing some men's project. So I know it's Father's Day coming up. So maybe you guys want to be making things for the men in the life or if you guys are sellers, making things for the men in other people's lives, right? So I think, I think we'll probably go with that, okay? Um, and then remember, you guys, I will be giving away some things so anyone who was here with me tonight will be entered into win so make sure you comment and like in this uh post feed because that's how i choose my winners so i guess technically even if it's not tonight as long as you watch the friday night live and you're entering into win and heard this announcement you can enter into win okay so the things i'm going to give away you guys so i'm going to be picking some random winners and 
Let's see. I had them sitting around here. I don't know. One one of the <laughs> I like to do two. So I'm good going to do two random winners and they are going to be winning uh, a set of the chakra boro kits okay so if you didn't get yours or you were kind of on the fence okay super cool you can qu do quite a lot with with them with the little sets okay so like the necklace and the bracelet and the earrings that we made all week you can uh, do with that set okay so two winners for the chakra make sure you sure you comment and then the other two things I'm going to give away. Are you guys paying attention? Should I do it? Where is the... Um, oh, yeah. For those that show your creations, so you guys are getting good about getting onto the Facebook page and posting up your creations. So anything that was inspired maybe by being with me, it does not have to be. My goal is to share creations, show a little bit of the color, add a little bit of beauty to Facebook instead of all of this craziness that is exploding all over the world so that we can try to create a little calm in all the chaos and we will continue to bead on. All right, so the things that were made on Bead With Me, you know, I love to give them away. So those that are inspired and, and showing us your creations, make sure you continue posting this week because we will be picking two more winners and one winner is going to win my fabulous pair of ear dagger earrings. I have sold out of the components of this, so I'm not able to make this kit right now, but if you buy some of the Boro beads, eventually I'll will get it but you can wear win a pair of these earrings okay and then the other giveaway is going to be the bracelet that we made today this cutesy patootsie okay so it has the little butterfly charm you guys are always a help in choosing what we make so then hopefully you guys will be excited to win it <laughs> okay so those are the uh two two giveaways for this week. So make sure, sure you post anything that you guys are making. So if you have any questions on posting, I think we're all getting better at it, but if you do have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, you guys have an awesome night. Hopefully you guys are still awake, not drinking too much vodka, <clears throat> no names mentioned, <laughs> but I don't think we went on for too long tonight. So cheers. Have a fabulous Friday Night Live. I'm sorry for those that I'm still finishing up last Friday Night Live, but you know, oftentimes we keep those boxes open and I ship in one shipment anyway. So we'll add some bubble beads to that uh, and chain and leather and all those goodies uh, to your little care package that will be together this week. Hopefully I'll be better this round and we can get all caught up and we'll be starting fresh again next week. So join me, be with me two o'clock Monday through Friday. I'm going to be kind of keeping the same schedule as of right now. Okay. Otherwise I'll let you know. Have a great evening and keep on creating.